In this video, I will show you a library that I'm giving away which helps you with strings stored in flash memory or ROM using the word PROGMEM. If you wish to use it, there is a link in the description of the video. At the time of making this video, you can use strings in RAM and test them for equality with one in ROM or with comparisons. I may add to this library in the future, depending on how popular it is, to work more with two strings in ROM or other functions so there is more scope for adding to its functionality to closely resemble Arduino's string object. I made this library because I wanted to use a string stored in ROM like I use string stored in RAM using such functions as index of, etc. So I started to look at the functions that you may not have heard of for working with strings stored in ROM as they have forgettable names and developed this library to use easier names for the functions and to save RAM in a computer on my arm which tells me about events happening at a steampunk festival. I decided to give the library away with the hope that it may be useful so let's have a look at an example program. You declare a string stored in ROM using PROGMEM as normal, but to use this library, you give the address to a class called ROMSTRINGNEAR. I use the word NEAR to emphasize that this is for strings stored in the first 64 kilobytes of flash memory, which may not be a problem, but I may make another library in the future to internally use FAR pointers for strings that do not fit in that space, but works exactly in the same way. This library functions as a wrapper so you can use certain functions on your string like Arduino string object. As you can see, I have tried to use the functions that act the same as the string object. At the time of making this video, index of and last index of currently use one character for searching in a ROM string as opposed to searching for a substring but I may add to this in the future to search within a string stored in ROM for substrings stored in RAM or ROM. If you were wondering what the F means when I print things to the screen using serial print, it is a convenience function for printing strings straight from ROM to save on memory. Here we can see an example of elemental access using either square brackets to retrieve individual characters or you can use char at. There are examples that use compare to to compare the string in ROM with a string in RAM. The substring function retrieves a substring stored in a string object which is now in RAM. As this acts the same as the substring function in Arduino string, the first number is the starting index to the first character of the substring, 0 being the initial one, and the second number is the index to the end character not included in the substring. You can copy the string in ROM to a char array in RAM if you wish, remembering to have enough space for the text and the final 0 which tells the program where the end of the string is. When you run the program, you can see examples of its functionality. I shall leave you with this, with which to explore on your own, and I hope the library is useful. Thank you for watching.